February month was an exciting month for YouTube controversies. The affordable iPhone was launched. 60,000 affordable. <laughs> but March is a very exciting month because number one, the biggest mobile show, Mobile World Congress is happening and we'll be there. Fingers crossed, hopefully. And number two, Chinese brands are trying to revive compact smartphones. There's one plus 13 mini, Vivo X200 Pro mini, leaks about Pixel 9a and of course, nothing. Now we'll get to all of it. This is Pratik, you're already watching TechWiser. Let's go. Well, let's start off with the X200 Pro Mini. Now we tried Vivo X200 Pro Mini from China. Everyone at TechWiser and even you guys loved it. Like we love compact phones, but it wasn't launched in India back then. And we were like, Vivo sales are at an all time high. Get this phone to India. If now, then when? And finally, it's happening. The Vivo X200 Pro Mini is rumored to launch somewhere in the end of March to mid-April. Now, in terms of specs, the X200 Pro Mini was the first phone in the world to launch with Dimensity 9400. Along with that, it will have a 6.3-inch AMOLED display. Now, I know 6.3-inch is big for some people. But in 2025, 6.3 inch with that small bezel is a one-handed compact phone. Rest, it has 50 megapixel triple camera setup with Zeiss collaboration. And despite being a mini phone, it packs in 5700 mAh battery. Now, as per the rumors, it should be priced somewhere between X200 and X200 Pro since the mini has better camera specs than X200. So you can expect it to be around 70 to 75,000. Now, the X200 Pro mini isn't the only compact flagship launching. OnePlus is also jumping into the mini phone game with the OnePlus 13 mini. And this one has a few surprises of its own. Now, as per the leaks, it will launch somewhere around April 2025 in China. Now, in terms of specs, just like the X200 Pro mini, it will also feature a 6.3 inch 120Hz AMOLED display. Along with that, it will come with Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. But unlike the other mini, OnePlus 13 mini will pack in a 6000 mAh battery. Now, from what the rumors suggest, OnePlus 13 mini will be priced really good in India and somewhere around 55,000. Like, that is a banger price. Like, I would personally buy it, if that's the price. Now, the Xiaomi flagships are also around the corner. Xiaomi will be launching the Xiaomi 15 and 15 Ultra on 27th Feb in China and 2nd of March globally. Now, the base Xiaomi 15 will be another compact phone. It will have a 6.3 inch display, 5500 mAh battery. The 15 will have a 50 megapixel triple camera setup. Now, the Xiaomi 15 Ultra will again have Snapdragon 8 Elite along with a 200 megapixel 1 inch periscope camera and a 50 megapixel main and ultra wide angle camera. Now, every company has left the 1 inch camera sensor to make the phones slimmer and smaller. Smaller. Xiaomi is the only one who is still sticking to a 1-inch camera sensor. That will be interesting to see. Now, it will have a 6000 mAh battery. Both will come with HyperOS 2 out of the box and, of course, it will have a Leica collaboration. Now, from the leaks and rumors, the expected pricing of Xiaomi will remain the same as last year. Xiaomi 15 might launch around 70,000, while the Ultra will launch just above 1 lakh rupees. Now, IQ Neo 10R will also be launching on March 11th. The banner is already live on Amazon. Now, we did an exclusive look of the phone and color and all is fine, but see closely on the top of the phone, there's an Easter egg here. Smart. Now it will pack a powerful Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 with fast LPDDR5X RAM along with UFS 4.0 storage. Now along with that, it will have a 6.78 inch flat AMOLED display, 6400 mAh battery. Now the IQ Neo 10R might come below 30,000 to target all the performance user. Now we are testing the device. Let us know which phone do you want us to compare that with. Next up is Google, like Googles and leaks. Pixel smartphones gets unboxed, reviewed, comparison, everything before the launch of the phone itself. Now Google's affordable series, Google Pixel 9a is rumored to launch at Google I.O., which is on 20th to 21st May 2025. Now, there's still time, but the leaks are super solid. Like, if you have been following the Pixel A series, design changes are usually minimal. Now, the Pixel 6a to the 7a and even the 8a, everything looks similar. But this time, Pixel 9a will have a completely new design compared to the 9 or 9 Pro. Now, from the leaks, it looks like it will miss out on the camera visor. And if you talk about the specs, it will feature a 6.3-inch Full HD Plus OLED display, 120Hz refresh rate, and it will get the flagship Tensor G4 processor. Now, battery is gonna be huge upgrade on the A-series. It will get a 5100 mAh battery. Now, pixel pricings are always way off. There's no logic at times. But you can expect Pixel 9a to launch around 50,000 in India. But you know the trend. The 9a series will slowly come around 35,000 after a couple of months during sales. So, wait for the sales. And now let's talk about the S25 Edge. Samsung teased their slim phone Galaxy S25 Edge and the phone has leaked in 
all its glory. As per rumors, it will release at the end of March or first week of April in India. Samsung officially only revealed the design of the phone, but we have the entire rumored spec list. It will pack in Snapdragon 8 Elite 200 megapixel main camera. Now the second camera can either be a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera or 50 megapixel 5x periscope camera. Now for the close up shots of the phone, it doesn't look like an ultra wide angle lens. So I hope it's the new folded periscope camera. Now it will also have a 4000 mAh battery in a 6.4 mm thin design. In terms of pricing, I feel it will be placed between S25 Plus and S25 Ultra. So it should be priced slightly above 1 lakh rupees. Now, before we move on to the nothing phones, we are trying to cover leaks and new stuffs other than smartphones. So Apple will be launching their MacBook Air M4. But the most exciting laptop news for India is Snapdragon has launched affordable laptops. Especially Snapdragon laptops around 60-65,000. And Asus launched two laptops. There's Asus VivoBook which is 65,990. It comes with Snapdragon X. Now in case you don't know, Snapdragon has three laptop CPUs right now. Snapdragon X Elite, Snapdragon X Plus and Snapdragon X which is the budget offering. Now the key thing with these laptops is battery life. Like the Asus laptop under 60,000 has up to 27 hours battery life. Whereas the Asus Zenbook which is going to be just under 1 lakh rupees will have 32 hours of battery life. That's insane battery life. Like just to give you perspective, Windows laptop in all of these price range has maximum 6 to 8 of max 10 hours of battery life. This is three times more. Now, another interesting thing is you can order these laptops under 10 minutes using Flipkart minutes. Like shopping in India is changing. Like come on, what's next that you want under 10 minutes? And finally, we have the upcoming Nothing Phone 3A series. Now it is all set to launch on 4th March and Nothing has already been posting about the design on X, even some macro photos from the 3A. The design of 3A is still fine and decent. But what was Nothing thinking designing the 3A Pro? The design here, I would say, is polarizing. See, I can't tell you my opinions, that's under embargo. But there's a term called polarizing design. See a couple of examples. You would have seen Tesla Cybertruck or that Balenciaga giant shoes. Like ideally, these things are very expensive or not even available in a lot of places. But the design is so polarizing, edgy, that there will be memes, people will be angry and they'll talk about it on social media. And nothing is very good at that. Marketing. I'm pretty sure someone at nothing would have seen the design and be like, Huh, people on internet will troll us, but it'll be good marketing. Now, in terms of specs, the Nothing Phone 3A will come with Snapdragon 7S Gen 3, triple camera setup, main plus ultra wide angle plus telephoto. Now, the 3A Pro will be a new addition. It will have Snapdragon 7S Gen 3, but a periscope camera instead of the telephoto. This means the optical zoom will be better on 3A Pro as compared to 3A. Also, Nothing this time seems to be serious about the feedback that we creators and users have given on the camera quality. The camera on earlier Nothing phones used to be meh, but Nothing has been trying to focus on good camera quality in the 3A and 3A Pro series. Apart Apart from that, there is also an extra button on the 3A and 3A Pro and also Nothing is launching some new AI feature. There is also a slight change in the glyph interface on these phones but all of this we'll see on March 4th. Now in terms of pricing, the leaks suggest that the phone 3A might be slightly expensive around 27,000 rupees whereas the 3A Pro might start at 30,000 or 32,000 rupees. So these are the smartphones that are expected to launch around March and we can clearly see that big brands have now started following the trend of compact or slim smartphones. For example, X200 Pro Mini, 13 Mini, S25 Edge are focused on providing slimmer phones without compromising much on battery life. Let us know which is the smartphone that you are really excited for. On that note, Pratik, TechWiser signing off. See ya. Pew pew.